Hi there, my name is Jennifer Clark and I'm a Zazzle expansion expert, which means that I mentor and coach people on how to make a profitable business using the platform called Zazzle. If you don't know what Zazzle is, it is a print on demand platform online, which you can sign up for free and create an account for free and open up a store for free and start posting products for sale for free and earn money through royalties if you sell your products. I wanted to just let you know that this is one of the best platforms out there. I have done multiple things of research to try and figure out other platforms for myself to make money online. And at the end, I decided with Zazzle because of all of the perks and all of the pros compared to cons from other platforms. Zazzle is completely free and has over 2,000 varieties of product types and styles for you to choose from, and you can actually design on their platform. So you don't have to have any fancy graphics design programs or any skill sets that you have prior before you start posting products for sale on their platform. All you have to do is sign up for an account and open up a store and then start posting products. Okay. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to post your first product for sale. If you don't know how to do so, it is very easy. And as I said, Zazzle has an in-house design tool, which is very easy to use and you can start posting products for sale today. All right. I'm going to share my screen and we're going to dive into what it means to post a product for sale on Zazzle. First of all, we're going to go on to Zazzle.com and we always recommend that you go into Zazzle.com because it is the American version of the website. Even if you are in a different country around the world and you want to start making money online with Zazzle, we always recommend that you create an account and also start posting for sale on the .com website. Okay, You will still be able to earn money the exact same way. Um, however, this is just because there are a lot more people who are in North America. America and especially in the United States who know about Zazzle who would actually purchase online with Zazzle.com. So you always want to post on the Zazzle.com website. So here on Zazzle.com, they're going to go over to this little menu bar over here and then click on the create your own button. And when you get to that button there, you're going to be able to then see the create your own options, which I'm going to go in and share my screen once again, and I'll show you what that looks like. Then you're going to be able to choose and search for any items that you want to that is available on the Zazzle platform. So as I mentioned, there are so many different product types and styles for you to choose from. You can scroll through and look at all of these different categories that are available to you here, or you can search in the search bar. And we're going to search for a phone case for the moment, just because I chose that I wanted to make this product on the platform to show you in this video. You can choose whatever product you want. Just understand that each product obviously has different design stipulations and also bleed lines and, you know, print lines so that if you are designing outside of those regulations, then your product might look different based on obviously the size and the shape of the product that you are designing. So I'm going to choose a cell phone case. I can scroll through and choose whichever one I want here. There's so many different options for all of the different iPhones, for example, and the Samsung Galaxy ones. So you can go through and choose which one you want to start designing. And I'm going to choose the iPhone 13 case. And I've already started to design one of the phone cases in the design tool. But when you click on one of the products that pops up there that you can choose from, then you'll be taken to the design tool aspect of it. And I've already started to edit this design, but when I get onto that product and I click on that iPhone case, it'll come up with a blank background that looks pretty much like this. And so I've hidden my graphics. I've also added a background color here. And now I can go into my layers and go in and unhide what I've already created. You can play around with the design tool. You can add text by clicking on this text button here, and you can also upload your own graphics. You can also choose from a different wide range of variety of texts that Zazzle offers you. You can use any one of these texts to create text boxes and choose the different font styles for you to choose from. So for example, if I wanted to change my wording hello there to be this cool script, I can change that as well and use that in part of my graphic. Okay. And so you can choose whatever text and font you want to put on your graphic. You can also then edit your text box here. I've just chosen to write the word hello. And I've also added my own little heart graphics here and changed the background color to be as such. It's like this off 
peachy pink color um, because I wanted to fit with my graphics here. And then when I want to finally sell my product or post it for sale, what I can do is then click that done button. And then I'm going to click on the sell button here. And then you'll be taken to a page that says post your product for sale. You're going to input any information that you want regarding your title and a description because you've chosen a certain product in the Zazzle marketplace. Zazzle's algorithm already basically chooses where your product should be placed within their algorithm and their categories. So you can click that right away. Here you can add your description, some sort of description about what your product is, what type of graphics, what it showcases on it. And then you can choose your events and categories and also your store category within your store. I'm going to not show you all everything in my back end because everything will be different regarding which store you decide to post it in in your own. And then you can add your tags here and then post for sale once you filled everything out. Okay. So it's as easy as that to post a product for sale. The design tool, as I mentioned, is very easy to use. Obviously, I'm not going to go through everything here in the design tool on this video, but that being said, there's so much more for you to learn, to capitalize on, and to utilize while posting your products for sale, and we teach you that in our courses. There's a really great free downloadable for you to choose from in the description of this video. It's completely free and will help you figure out certain products within certain niches that you can post for sale because obviously going onto the Zazzle platform and choosing from the wide range of variety of products that they offer is not a strategic plan. You have to have some sort of plan. You have to understand which niche you're going into and also which products are good within that niche and which will sell. And so that downloadable in the description of this video will help you understand more about that. Okay. And last but not least, I just want to show you that it is possible to make money online with Zazzle in terms of creating products that are on the actual website right now where you can see that they are popular and also how many people are seeing those products. So I've gone on to the Zazzle Marketplace and I just searched iPhone 13 cases here and you can see that there is a wide range of products that come up over a million search results. Okay, don't let that scare you. It might be daunting, but it's because everyone has niched down using specific keywords. So for example, elegant, cute, monogrammed, etc. And you can see that when you click on one of these products here, I'm going to stop sharing my screen and go back to uh, show the individual product here really quickly. You can see that this product actually has so many views on it right now. So 2,000, almost 2,400, 25 people have actually viewed this design. And what we can sort of guess and from our research and understanding our analytics is that there's more or less about a 10% conversion rate. And so if you've posted a product for sale and you have 2,500 people looking at this product, at least 10% of them, and I can never make any income claim st statements, but at least 10% of them have probably bought this product, okay, based on a conversion rate, right? If somebody looks at this product, maybe they're more or less inclined to buy it right away, or maybe they're not, but they're interested in it. And so you can see that this person here, their cell phone case is trending and they are making money from it, okay? So just for anyone who kind of wonders about if you can actually make money online with Zazzle and sell for example, cell phone cases and get lots of views on it. This person here, this designer has almost 2,500 views on this one particular cell phone case. And this is only one product in their store and they have multiple other products, maybe even thousands of products in their store. And so if this product is making them money, that being said, the products that other products in their store will most likely be making them money as well if they have high views and based on a 10% conversion rate. Okay. And so this is the quick tutorial on how to make your first product on Zazzle using the design tool. You don't have to have any crazy skill sets with design graphic programs or actually even have your own graphics. You can download your own graphics, you can purchase graphics, or if you are an artist and create your own graphics, then you can post your products for sale using your own artwork, which is also an advantage to you. 
And if you need help understanding how to post products for sale in certain niches and which products you should choose, make sure that you get that downloadable in the description of this video. It is completely free and will help you figure out certain trends on Zazzle and products within those trends on Zazzle. Okay. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe, comment below if you want to see any other information on this YouTube channel regarding posting products for sale, making money on Zazzle, and how to create a profitable business with the Zazzle platform. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.